In this first lesson, we'll look at an overview of Revit MEP version 2015. We'll also review what you'll learn and cover in this course. So to start out, what is Revit MEP? Well, MEP stands for Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing. Revit being a three-dimensional modeling tool, a BIM tool, which stands for Building Information Modeling, focuses on those three disciplines, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Now, originally, Revit MEP started out as Revit Systems back in 2006. And then it slowly took on the form and shape of Revit MEP to catch up to the Revit architecture and the Revit structure products. Originally, though, a lot of designers, a lot of engineers said MEP was good, but it didn't have all the bells and whistles of a true three-dimensional BIM tool. Well, a lot's changed since then, and it actually does. It's a fully-fledged BIM tool, fully capable of handling that three-dimensional project, specifically for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Now, as far as this course goes, the course is based on intro learning techniques. So, assuming you know a little bit about Revit, but again, we'll still cover the basics. So we'll start out at first looking at, again, what is Revit, looking at the interface, maybe some shortcut keys, how do you maneuver around within the screen. For example, as you see on my Revit screen, I have three windows, three different views showing three different systems. You know, how do we obtain that? We'll also look at systems and families, all these components. And then we'll go into the basic creation tools. You know, how do we create things in 2D? How do we create things in 3D? and look at an overview of all three of these systems, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. From there, we'll look at editing tools. Now, these editing tools are sort of standard across all the Revit platforms, meaning architecture, structure, and MEP. And these tools are things such as copying, moving, rotating, mirroring, aligning, offsetting. So again, those fundamentals can be used in any of the Revit products. Then we'll look at creating new projects. How do we start a new project? How do you start an MEP project from a architectural Revit project? We'll also look at templates. How do you create templates? What do we put in a template? And then we'll look at some of the characteristics of these views. For example, again, what you see on my screen. How do you create the section view, the elevation view, callouts? What about view templates? We don't have to create these things over and over again. And then we'll look at some of the actual things that need to be set up prior to creating a system. Some of those are going to be spaces. Some of those are going to be zones within our spaces. We'll also look at some analysis tools for energy analysis and some of the settings that allow us to export some of these analysis results. Then we'll get into the systems. The first system we'll start out with will be for HVAC. That's going to be all of our air ducts, all the mechanical equipment, all the duct systems. We'll then move into the piping and the plumbing systems. We'll lay out various pipe runs. We'll lay out various plumbing systems. And we'll look at all the layout and all the components that go with that. This also includes, in this section, fire protection systems, such as your sprinkler systems. And then finally, the last system we'll cover will be the electrical system. This will be all of the lighting components, all of the electrical equipment, the electrical devices, power circuits, switches, lighting circuits, cable trays conduit, everything electrical. We'll also look at electrical panels. Then for all of the systems, for which I just mentioned, we'll look at scheduling, meaning the schedules for each of these systems. So our lighting schedule, mechanical schedule, material takeoff schedule. And then what we'll do is we'll finalize all of this by putting everything together in documentation, meaning your sheets, your plans, if you will. So how do you get these views on these sheets? How do we get a title block on a sheet? How do I change the scale of these views? What about revisions, tags, dimensions? We'll cover all of that in documentation. We'll also cover printing. And then the remaining part of the course will deal with related elements to working in collaboration with other architects, designers, maybe using Revit architecture or Revit structure. We'll look at work sharing. What is work sharing? How do you set it up? What about history? What if something corrupt happens to a file? How do you restore elements? And then the last part of this course will be the presentation. So we've created these three-dimensional models in Revit for MEP. How do you now present this to your client, to your customer? So we'll look at making realistic materials and assigning those materials to these different systems. How do you export and create these images? Also, what about walkthroughs? How do you take your client through the space to show them a three-dimensional layout of each and every one of these systems? That's a quick overview of Revit, the Revit history and also what we'll cover in this course.